Right, sorry this video's out quite later than I expected. Um, and things like that. So I'm going to start with full parts one because I'm more pressed of what the Zion and Merlin are on that one. Okay, and then I'll start and then I'll finish in the video with my points about Chessions. Uh what's called Rollercoaster. Okay, this would be only about Rollercoaster, it's nothing else today. Uh, I'm not going to cover any of the other rides, what are there, uh, or any of the other rumours, what I heard on YouTube or anywhere really, along that line. Um, what I would say, it's really good the uh, Secretary of State has approved of it. I think I will, 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 really, will comment on this one. I think um, there should be something for me, the roller coaster fans, to be apologise or, you know, from the environment agency. For their actions, because some of it, I would say, some of it wasn't um, necessarily was a dangerous animal in the area. They could have stopped it, uh, the environment agency. Uh, that's the only way they could have stopped it. I think it's really rubbish where they're saying it might flood. Uh, they've probably got a chintzy plan how to cover that because they always, I noticed this full part earlier this year, were a hard work trying to find that. They've probably been doing this four years and before we knew it, and they've probably got what I can tell from Jack's videos and their tour and hit him around. And he's actually talking to someone. There are hints, I think, in the middle of the park, something might happen in the future, but I don't know what it is. Because I was looking at his eyes movements on that one, but we covered that, um, you know, with the manager, what was showing him around. Now, as I was saying, look, I'm really impressed by the. Rollercoaster, it's going to be as tall as I say, like a 360 uh, tower. Uh, if you want to, uh, like a specness of this, it's going to be 2000 feet, okay, um, and things like that. Now, I'm really impressed of how the, the carriages look like. I can affirm it with like other people. I do think it is a map ride because of looking at the designs of it. Now, I didn't want to comment till I got my facts right and things. Now, the, right, if the environment agent nearly stopped it by law, okay, um... But lucky enough, this secretary approved of it. I I do think, in a way, the final word should be from the local councils and the local environment uh, people and things like that. Unless there's something, unless you can weigh up something, uh, in that area, what couldn't work, and you have the well right way of doing it, and you could prove there was a dangerous animal in that area. What can you can change the area of that ride? Then I could see the problem with that. Now there's another big, 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 big thing. What I'd say, what might danger the park what Jack 
did say, and I noticed no one else says, um, and this could really, really impact Full Park in a negative way with more flooding, because I noticed a lot around the park, they do not have any flood barriers in place of this future plan where they're going to link it up to the main uh, river now i don't think that's going to work personally um because i know tiny's a lot a lot about uh how water works in that area because i did a lot of studying when i was younger to know about it now, I am going to cover this in a short way, how people can understand. Now, with this project, if they're going to link it up to some bigger river, um, that water needs to go somewhere else. Now, really, it could be, I think, 100% this really um that water is not as as a going to be designed unless full park can have a chins plan in place for that happens what the council suggests in to link it up now these are the problems what i'd say for the new roller coaster and The costs, is what I would say, the more ones on the park what would have problems with this one. Now, is this could gush a load of more water into the park, this uh, linking it to the main park. I can't show you because... I don't have any air to in or laptop to show you what I'm in. Okay, I'm going to try and describe you. So this might glass more water into that corner where the new roller coaster might be. Now, this is where I think the environment agency shouldn't be looking at this a bit more. What the council are planning, because this might danger like flooding to new roller coaster and costas. Now, if I was you, I would have to think of it a bit better if you're going to do this, full part, because it's not going to work in my own eyes. It's not going to do um, work in itself. Now, if you want to get it work, and this is one way it can happen with that um, project in a few years, I don't think that should work happen because it's going to danger two rides in itself and the public in itself. Okay, unless they've got a flood plan in place with that one now that is actually going to danger the park and danger that side of the park now uh, what was i going to say now i think personally and i have looked at max rides over the years with how they work their rides and i think it's really good i honestly am static about that okay uh and stuff okay um it's gonna be awesome when it's built uh i think it's gonna be quite fast by the look of it and it will have a powerful impact now the way how they can make it splash i don't think Designers are going to let normal water be sprayed up because 
of number of other reasons. And there's they got another tinsy pan with it. Now this is a way how I can see how they can effectively make it work the spraying technique. Um now I'm gonna explain you not not another technique how they could spray it. The water up so they could put it through the filter system into the local water through that one into something like that. That way they got um a way of uh, having it clean and that should be overnight cleans every minute by the minute. Okay, um, and that way they got got a free more water going on the new roller coaster really, um, and they could use another filter system for the local water the part. Now that way they could cover a load of costs, and it's only a gestion of mine, and it's addiction what I got. With full part now, I kind of dicted this year would have been a new row of coats uh, quite early on. My next addiction, I would say about a new row of coats. So I think they're going to put another row of coats in, in for putting another flat ride in the park, really. Um, now, I think there should be a couple of flat rides What later on, what I would say, should be moved. Okay, but I think the next one, roller coaster there, should be on that next to Swarm Island. That's where I've been predicting the next plan to be, and it'd be something brand new. Um, concept. I think it's going to be a world famous Woody. I'm going to dict. Um, but I could be wrong with this one. But, but time will only tell with that one. Now, with uh, the other one, I'd say the next roller coaster, I'd say, with. Chesson site. Now, with that, I reckon it's really well designed. I really, really, really like the pan in the middle. I think they could do a lot of things with it. I think they could glow it at night. That could be a real, real, real um, buzz for the crowd. They could put a light in it. Well, it glows down and follows the roller coaster where it goes. That could be another buzz, really. Not behind it, but I could see that working. Uh, and that's another addiction of mine. Now, with Chesion, I think they need to dull it up quite soon with a new, another new roller coaster. I don't... Somehow, I'm going to disclaim a these rumours where I think they will not get rid of the vampire I think they're going to retrack it because if they're going to retrack um, two other rides of theirs I think they're going to do it with that now I don't think they're going to do it straight away but I think they need to do it upon me in the next Six years, I reckon, before the roller coaster does start to have problems. Okay, I could be wrong. My early prediction, it could be another four years. Because I need to get both of those uh, retracked, the Nemus tracked, and things like that. Now, um, it's going to be... Amazingly, I love the colour of, I haven't personally travelled up there yet, but I'm hoping 
on the 10th of next month, I can, like, travel up there and film it and film the bits up there of the roller coaster. I don't know how people do it, but hey, how? I'm sure they've got a way of doing it um, and things. I'm going to go up there for Cheshire this year for the winter thing, you know, the Christmas thing, tell thing, and to try out the cookie thing and things like that. I don't know about the Santa, but I might see if I can do that or not. And things. Anyway, I think these both are the best as each other. They need to, Merlin, if you're listening to this, and I'll dick you this, you need to upscale your game with this new London Resort um, are coming. I think what you need to do. Personally, if I, I was you guys, I don't know how, but the only contract I'm full part on Cheshire at the moment, because I would only do that as a key advantage, uh, and Legoland at the moment. That's my own right, tip. If you're a Merlin uh, designer and the person who runs it, because I'm telling you, this is London Resort will creep up on you if you don't do it the way what I'm telling you. Autumn Towers, I think, could wait for another, probably another seven years to they put in some new ride, if you're wondering. Or is it, it will creep up on you if you put too much projects at once. But it's not my decision to say, but that's what I would say. Anyway, uh, I'm going to call this a peace out thing. And I hope everyone enjoys their Christmas. Anyway, peace out.